When we look at the sand jump, we can identify four different parts. We start with the classic jump to get the height. Shortly before the apex of the jump, it gets more interesting where we send the kite forward and this is going to accelerate us through the sky. After that, we get the recovery phase where the kite needs to recover towards 12 o'clock in order to catch you and slow you down. And then comes the landing. And this is where most people make the mistakes. The, the landing will be done with a heli loop, but there are very different ways to do the heli loop and some will put you down softer than the other. So what are the key points of the small sand jump? You want to initiate the sand just before the apex of your jump, so your kite still has power and pulls you forward. After that, you'll still have enough time for the recovery and a soft landing.